The American dream means different things for different people. For some, it means money and fame, but for others, it means making a difference and having an effect on people's lives. I just want to work always with the community. I, I would like to participate in people's goals. And working with the young, uh, it has been my priority to help them to reach goals and to improve uh, their quality of life. I believe that working hard is going to put you in the right place. Hugo's climb to the top is a perfect example of working hard and getting rewarded. I used to start working when I came to this country as a maintenance, and I work in summers in a hotel close by here. And it's something I really enjoy. I like to fix in. I believe that working for your community and your fa family it helps you out to improve your life, to become a better person. So I just want to be a better person and do the best for my family. I came to this country and started working for this school. Uh, I encountered many people that uh, gave me the hand that I need to, to be successful. Don't let uh, people say that you cannot achieve your goals. You can. There are no limits. I came to this country not talking anything in English, and I have been learning that language by myself. I have been uh, improving my life all the time, and that expands my mind. Uh, I never imagined that I was able to learn another language and, and reach what I reached. So that's a good thing for me, and is, is telling me that there are no limits. You can success wherever you go, if you want to. Wyana's dedication and appreciation to her customers makes her job as a beautician very meaningful. Well, from dreaming, I always loved to do hair when I was a child. And um, to achieve it, I completed the school that I needed to complete it. My dreams, as far as going here, my dream, don't laugh, was to be in a hair magazine. That's something that I always want to accomplish. When I was a young girl, I always loved to make people look pretty and do their hair and stuff. So, and I enjoyed doing that, and I enjoy um, giving and doing for others. The first salon that I worked in, the owner inspired me to get my license because I went to school, but I didn't take the test, and I was doing hair in the house. And it was my friend's father. He inspired us to go um, take the cosmetology exam and get my license. My godmother, Miss Cheney, she was the one that encouraged me and pushed me and helped me to believe that I can do what I set out to do for myself. Amy has had to overcome many obstacles, but she perseveres to make her dream a reality. My dream has always been to caregive. Uh, since I was little, I've always been, you know, helping animals and stuff like that. And then I realized, okay, well, how can I make this dream into a reality? And um, what's better than the medical field? My first step was sort of looking in the mirror and, you know, looking at myself and saying, well, what do you want to do? What, how, how can we do this? Um, I've been in trouble with the law, and um, I've been in tr in trouble with drugs. Um, my recovery was in jail and um, that was the hardest for me. That was really waking up on that concrete floor was something so life-changing knowing that you know only you got your back of course your family but you know you're here by yourself and this that wasn't a place for me or anybody at that. Definitely an eye-opener. My sister is a very big role model in my life. I have two great sisters um, and they're both successful in what they do and um, I just look at them and, and I get the motivation. I, mean, I have a big support system. Um, both of my parents are disabled so um, I've been helping them out but they help me even more out. And family is a very big thing to me. Um, when I was in jail, incarcerated, nobody came to see me except for my parents, my, not my friends, not my boyfriend, no, nobody, you know, except for them. And um, just seeing them in that predicament, it, it, it broke my heart. I know it sounds cliche when people say um, you can do, you know, you can do whatever you want, everything is possible, the sky's the limit, but it's true. And once you start to realize that, that you have everything 
in your power to to make whatever is that you want to come true um, and you just have to work for it you have to work for it it's not gonna come to you I know some people are born with a silver spoon but most of us are not it's it's real out here and it's it's a struggle and you just have to stay focused the American dream isn't always about the fame and the glory but about overcoming obstacles and striving for greatness it's about being better every day it's about learning something new every day it's, it's like Try to be a better person every day. Do something for your neighbor and for your family and try to be happy. From working for someone and working with someone, now I'm an owner, a salon owner of my own. So that's what dreaming does. You dream and stay focused and you can accomplish whatever you set out to accomplish. When you get into the real world, you will see that um, it's one day at a time and you, you hold the power in your hands and you bring everything into existence. Your thoughts become your existence. So if you think positive, positive things will happen to you.